What a day of rugby league we have been treated to here at Navigation Home Stadium in Pukekohe and the crowd well and truly on their feet in that last game. Fiji Tokelau. Big vibes here this afternoon. Beautiful day as we get set for our next match. And back to the girls' side of the draw. Samoa and Tonga, two undefeated sides on day one. And... Uh, it's a real pleasure to have alongside me Jeff McTainch in commentary, former Kiwi Samoa International. Willie Poaching, great to see you, Willie, and I guess welcome back as an order. It's been nine months you've been back in the country, but 25 years up in the north. It's a long old stint. Good to see you back in Aotearoa. Thanks, Jeff. Yeah, it's awesome to be home. Um, it's awesome to be home on a day like this. When I speak to my sons this morning and it's four degrees back in Yorkshire and uh, to be away from some of that but yeah it's amazing to be home it's amazing to be here this weekend and be part of this festival I suppose of rugby league and that's what it is and the crowd have made it a real festive atmosphere and, and so are the players on the field and it's awesome to to be here and, and play my little bit with you and thanks for having us good to have you back we'll talk more about your illustrious career in the north uh, throughout the game as well all set though Samoa and Tonga here at the Pacifica Youth Cup. Song, spirit and passion here at Navigation Home Stadium. All set for action. Two proud nations of Samoa and Tonga. And great support here too from the crowd, from all the teams involved here at Pukekohe. As we move through to Sunday, culminating on finals day of the Pacifica Youth Cup. As we take a look at this Samoan um, lineup and keep an eye out for the co captain Braxton Sorensen McGee. Equally adept at 15s as well as rugby league, of course. Fantastic player for the Auckland Storm and the Farah Palmer Cup. Showing her wares here this week as uh, we take a look at the Tongan side. Two very talented teams. Samoa over Nui yesterday. Tonga over the Cook Islands. And we saw their male counterparts play earlier in the day today. And if this game lives up to anything that game was, it was a, it was a draw where Samoa scored late on. This will be a cracker. Oh, first use of the ball, just drifting in behind. Untidy. But uh, they do have it. Tonga, real contact coming in. 
in this opening set. Here it is for Kaufusi. Offside, Samoa. Yeah, just too keen, too keen. As you mentioned, a big hit to start the game from Samoa straight off the kickoff. Got themselves a bit too eager to get off the line. The referee giving the penalty away. Tonga happy to tap the ball and attack straight off. Tineru going in front on to make the tackle. And Tonga bring it out just beyond the 40 to start the set off of the penalty. Again, going in there. Riley Fruin, oh, Tineru for Samoa on defence. A chance to move it, They're shifting along. Serenity. Doala as they edge inside Samoa's half for the first time in the match. Looking to try and create something down the right edge. Paya, the halfback, gets the ball away. To her center is Olivia, 14 years of age, goes to ground. Looking good early here with ball in hand, just as I say, that goes behind. And there's the mistake for Tonga. Yeah, just a bit of confusion. I think uh, the Tongans, the halfbacks in particular, were expecting the ball straight out of dummy half, but the little moment of hesitation from Folletti there just caught them off guard. She either needed to decide and be decisive to either run or pass straight away. But a bit of fortune for the Samoans, an error there from Tonga. It gives them the opportunity to get the ball for their first chance to attack in the game. Samoa looking for little space. Now they try and straighten. A little wrestle for the ball too. And then up Lavia plays it back. Now looking for something out of dummy half. Bit of speed, bit of pace. Try and catch Tonga on the back foot here. Slower player of the ball and up to make the tackle. Good contact coming in. Tuala for Tonga. Now perhaps some speed off of the ruck here. Carting it forward is Otinero for Samoa. Beyond the 40, they go. Again. Tonga come up with possession, so it's a couple each way. Yeah, it was a great run. It was a great run to find the field position for Samoa and get them 35 metres out. Again, just a little lapse in concentration. Maybe some of the conditions and the ball being slippery, you don't know. But they've got to concentrate a little bit better and, and come up with the play of the ball. Both teams will be disappointed with their opening starts to the set. Neither has got to a kick yet. Neither has got to any strong field position to threaten the opposition. There they go, the halfback Pyatt looking for some space and via has it player on the outside and Folletti who tidies it up close to the far touch she's done well she's done really well to stay in touch she did well to collect the ball in the first place but then stay in touch and the referee's got another knock on I'm not sure if that was the dummy half or the person playing the ball Tachi was happy with them staying in the field of play 20 odd years, Willie leads Rhinos UK Super League title. And you're back in New Zealand and enjoying, as you say, a New Zealand summer, very hot summer too. What brought about the move to come back home? Uh, time, I suppose. Um, you know, 25 years, we had a great life in the UK, and the UK was very, very good to us and our three kids, um, the education and the life we had, but just family, I suppose, and, and coming back and trying to give a little to the game. Here they go, Samoa breaking down the right edge. Malfoy, good tackle in the end to bring her down. Dangerous from the centre as Lafonga goes close. Some big contact and real feeling coming in early here. Moa Moa shifting it on. The standoff, Lavia brought down right in front of Tonga's posts. Perhaps time to shift it a little wider here. Beautiful float across the top. And oh, a little high. Good defence though on Louis. 
and they've got the penalty. They've got the penalty. You're right. It was high, right in the corner. A great run from Danny Marfoy down this right hand edge to give the ascendancy to the Samoan side. Take they spotted there were spaces, but they're going to tap. They've got a penalty now. Another chance to attack. A great desperation from Tonga's defence. Take your hat off to Sanson McGee for the floated cutout ball. Thing of beauty. Not done yet, though. As Faith Tavita tries to power her way through this Tonga defence. Sanson McGee again. Way for Lelua. Clear Lelua, the co captain. Here's a good charge. No Fissel. Very close. Tonga's defence on their line. Very good at the moment. Sorensen McGee. What can she create here? Again, another cutout ball. Players on the outside. Pace, though. Player on the inside of Leunga. In the form of Lafonga. Didn't give the ball back in, but still alive here in the set. Creating space, there's players out there, but reading it well and up smartly too. Paya for Tonga. Out of dummy half though, creating some real meters. There's the ball away to the edge again, and this time the finish! Beautiful play, Samoa. And it's Louis who's gonna score it. And a great passage of play going from side to side, showing some real good skill. A couple of moments there where they thought the I thought Samoa played into the Tongans' hands, just taking it nice and simply. They were just swallowed up by the bigger defenders from the Tongan side, but the skill to move the ball, go four passes out, and there was that cutout ball again. This time it wasn't Braxton Sorensen McGee, it was Malena Lavia with the cutout ball who gave the wingers some early ball to catch it, get a bit of footwork and come back inside and open the scoring for Samoa. A well-deserved try. An error from Tonga gave them the field position. And they've got to punish their opposition when they get the opportunities, and they've done that. I think Samoa will be pretty happy with that start, opening the scoring. Still, uh, neither team have got to a kick. So I don't think the coaches will be completely happy, but uh, to open the scoring and, and create some, some pressure, field position pressure on your position, I think the Samoan coaches will be happy with. Converts the try, Braxton sign to McGee to Shafanyua Louis. Some big raps on this young lady. Hopes that she could be the youngest Kiwi Fern Black Fern double at some point. The Auckland girls' grammar showing her wears here on the league field. And that is the finish. Now you talk about Shafanyua Louis and some of her abilities and her reputation that she's building but there's some fantastic talent throughout this tournament and you can see there's a lot of players both in the boys and the girls ranks that i can see having uh, wonderful careers ahead of them so somewhat do a try the crowd really finding their voice here this afternoon on day two still a long week ahead it's culminating in the finals day on sunday Ground is Timo Teal for Samoa as they look to build pressure just beyond the halfway line, fighting some real meters up the middle. And happy to go that way all day long as Moa Moa out of dummy half gets the ball away. Again, some good angled running, players on support off of the shoulder. Again, a little fault on that occasion. Simple hands, they're going to score another. That is beautiful. They're learning Moa Moa. Help create it downfield in the set. She finishes, and just like that, Samoa have a second. And that was just built on the back of hard running, desperate running, willingness to carry the ball and beat your opposition. Moments there when Tonga had three and four defenders and they still couldn't handle the Samoan carriers. Getting up, playing the ball. Tonga's defensive line not being able to get back and get set. Smart play here. Braxton Sorensen McGee, nice and simple. Ball back inside, more and more scores, nice footwork, simple play, built on the back. They've earned the right to do that on the back of just rolling their sleeves up and muscling up. Nice try, back to back. Just the, 
A hint of alarm bells for Tongi here. They need to rescue themselves and get their D back in order on this set. They can't let Samoa get this roll on. Impressive start for Samoa. Willie, how impressed have you been? I guess you've watched from afar for a long time. The perspective out of the north, watching the progression of Pacifica and Māori rugby in New Zealand, particularly with a platform like this. We know the Warriors are on board. Uh, how impressed is, have you been with this tournament? Yeah, massively so. I'd, I left when there was still the Pacific Cup and, um, for men and you know to watch the women's game grow and then that filter down to here. Um, I think you've got to give credit to people like uh, Hingi Fusatua um, you know, and the job that the, the PAC committee have done to grow the game and, and grow the profile of uh, the Pacific Rugby League athlete. And, and, you know, I know the, the people that started Samoa Rugby League and Tonga Rugby League would never have envisaged this at the start that our youngsters would be playing and representing our, our nation. So, yeah, but not only that and growing that, but seeing the individual athlete and the, ability, the abilities of our athletes been fantastic. There's some wonderful players out here on, on show, both boys and girls. Amazing how, how well they play and, and their knowledge of the game. Up against it early. Here Tonga, brilliant start for Samoa. And making some real metres, huge inroads again. Excellent play. And she's not going to need to pass it because Riley Fruanodineru is going to score the third try. Eating up the metres, broke the line. And easy as you like, there's the third for Samoa. And showing some power as well as pace to score. She falls around, throws a dummy, and falls over the line. Wonderful try to Riley through and Oteneru. She's had a couple of big runs already in the game. And you can expect uh, Samoa herself and, and Danny Marfoy have had some joy down this right-hand side for Samoa. And you can expect if they want to keep uh, ticking over the scoreboard or ticking over the the meters and the damage they're doing to the Tongan defensive line that they'll be attacking down this right hand edge a fair few times. Interesting, yesterday the game that I saw Samoa play early doors, they attacked along the, the left edge and they were getting a lot of joy. And today they're finding that on the right edge, whether that's a tactic that the, that the coach has come up with or they're just getting that feeling that that's where the momentum and the joy is coming from. Some smart play either way. I know you spent time coaching with Wakefield Trinity, Willie, and, and now linking up with Tor Samoa ahead of uh, the season ahead. Is it busy 2024 on the cards? We're hoping so. Um, we're waiting for the international board to come out with an international schedule and come up with the fixtures. Um, there was talk of Samoa going to the Northern Hemisphere, which uh, I'd love. <laughs> You've I'd got a space over there. Yeah. A couple of rooms free. <laughs> Boarding um, won't be an issue. But, yeah, there's some... Uh, some off-field issues that have got to be discussed and talked through. Um, but the, the NRL at the moment have some issues with their start going to Vegas, so we're just waiting for all that until we can sort out what Samoa and the rest of the international countries are doing for this year. But we're excited for whatever game we have. I'm sure it will come together. It's coming together at the moment is the play from the Samoa side. Haven't allowed Tonga into the contest as yet. Real metres again out of the ruck. Strong ball carries. And just patience, the key for them at the moment. They yeah, just can't get control of the ruck enough. Can't commit enough defenders and, and get strong enough in the tackle Tonga right now. The fight from Samoa and the desperation to play the ball quick. Alarming to the referee to the point where he's got to give the penalty away. And they get a chance to attack the line again. It's just these conditions, we can't be committing this. And it's too hot. It's too hot to be defending for too long. Halfway. Plays it away again. Just a strong carry coming forward. Lofiso this time. Lofiso. Simple stuff. One off runners coming in. Another good carry. Lelua. And they've been paying. And I don't know if it was uh, Lama 
but she was the one that came up with the ball for Tonga. And I think she was the one that stripped the ball. It's tough enough having to defend, but committing penalties on the back of it and having to go again. Talabina Masui. So really just out Good. from the post. Looking for that width again. Sainton McGee. They find it, and again, guess who? This time wider out, but once again, Jafranwa Louis has a double in this match. And that ball was money. That ball was money here. Straight out there, off, off Leonga. Cut out ball. And anybody in professional, at playing at professional level would be happy with that. Oh, we've got to question the grounding. But the referee gave it. Found the space, the flatness of the ball and the speed and the accuracy to get it in a position where she never, where the winger never changed stride and just put it down. Fantastic try on the back of some penalties from Tonga, not being able to get that ruck control with 13 minutes away from half time. It's 22 nil with a kick to come. And we try and rescue something here for Tonga and try and go into half time on some sort of positive note. Real shop window for these young athletes, Willie. What's your advice been over the years, having obviously coached at the highest level and now involved with Torsa More Great time to be involved with Pacifica Rugby, given everything they're doing on the International Rugby League stage. But when you see these young athletes getting an opportunity to shine on this stage and having these offers thrown at them, the opportunities to go and play in Australia and, and, and further afield, what do you say? What's your advice to a, a young person with decisions to make? Be patient. Don't chase the money. It's not about money at this age, and I know that can be a big attraction. Um, you're still, at this age, at a, at a massive developmental phase of your career. You're still finding yourself, you're still finding your body and who you are and, and what type of player you are. And a player doesn't know that, the player doesn't think like that, but this is me 30 years down the track, you know, with experience, but trying to pass on that knowledge to these players and, and to parents as well. Be patient, don't just jump into the first attractive offer. Let them enjoy the game and they're enjoying this at the moment, so more so to their fans and the crowd here at Navigation Homes. Tonga again is caught on the back foot defensively, finding all sorts of metres up the centre of the park here. Running with real freedom. Alatino, ball loose. And the referee will say play on, so they will. And off she goes. Now Malu, the foul. Again, Sorensen McGee stepping this time off the left and just can't find the supporting player. And Sam Malatino. That player's away to the left edge. That's so good, so talented. Decided to take them on herself. Yeah, just an, an inside ball. Caught a support player off, off guard, but they're just picking holes through the middle. Tonga just can't get themselves set. And at times they're getting three and four people left on the ground and still coming up with one marker. And Samoa just finding the ability to pick holes in the defence. You've just got to try and gain some control in that ruck area to get some line speed and get some control of a defensive set. This may be the chance for Tonga to get to a kick or post some points. A beautiful ball away. Here come Tonga, first real opportunity. A pass from Dogtai that helps set it up. Here they go again, Paya shifting it loose on the ground again, can't hold on to it. Latuela. And it breaks down just as they look to try and break out and just get a bit of ball in hand, Willie. That's right, and they've got to take some confidence just out of those two plays. They're moving the ball out, showing some threats on the edges, getting some footwork going. If they can do that for six tackles and do that a couple of times over, they'll be asking some questions and test the fatigue and the defensive fatigue of 
of the opposition in Samoa. And they can't just turn the ball over and tackle two and be defending their goal line again, as is the situation now. Oh, Masui. Just taking the ball to the line, taking him the tackle of Hansen to Onitoa. Faliti out of acting half. Now Maletio passing away. Lovely flat ball and charging onto it. He's uh, Lelua. Ten metres out, and this is where they've found some real holes in Tonga's defence, but just can't hold on to it. Trying to put it on the plate, Braxton Sorensen McGee for the Malu Lefau. And just trying to play deep into the line, and she did the right thing, Braxton Sorensen McGee. And playing in the line, drawing the defender. And just couldn't quite connect with the pass. And again, Tonga, you can't question Tonga's effort or courage defensively. They're working hard to get numbers and they're trying to get as many and commit as many to the tackle as possible. They're just not getting the control and get bumped off in their twos and threes. They just need to physically get shoulders in. Sasa, the fullback for Tonga. Just need to keep the ball in their hands. Maloto passing away. Oh, it's pretty good all that's over the horizontal. Yeah. And there's the penalty. She's okay. Someone might be having a rest here. That's it. Carla Fafita tipped on her head. But uh, she comes up. Back on her feet. That referee, though, Jack Fevers, is having a word. Intentional, they play it safety, of course, paramount. They just have a wee yarn. We talk about going past the horizontal, that uh, went way past it. Samoa quite lucky that they're not a, a player down here. That you know, was really dangerous. The tackle's done here. It was the double effort, and lucky not to lose that co captain, Sorensen McGee. And both captains were in there. Cleo Lelua was the other one as well. Tonga. Ngalu. It's a 30 metre line. Just want to build something in their set. Get a few completions here. And try and turn some more around inside their territory. All the way in the tackle. Keeping it alive nicely here. Tonga. Atuila. Yeah, some nice play from Tonga, asking some questions, some late offloads, some effort to push around around the ball. You now they find themselves on halfway. Maya Strong gets the ball away in contact again. Lama now running some good angles. For the first real time in this game, an opportunity to build a wee bit of pressure if they can. Maya floating the ball across the Totai, the standoff. Stepping, can't get through Samoa's defence. Under six remain in the first half here. Samoa good for their lead. Only oh. to a big tackle, thumped. And she stays down too. Oh, Fissel. Coming in with authority. Just going to take a moment. That was a monster we saw uh, in the last game. Vitini Bula for Fiji. Come up with a couple of shots. Some bone rattlers. But that was next level. Smothering. Getting the right shoulder in. And lifted the ball carrier from Tonga. Great shot from Lofiso. And that's a lifting effort you know, for your side. Not that Samoan 
need any more lifting. They're in total control of this one, but sends a strong message. Well, the shots of the day, Tumelo Fiso. And good to see Kaloni Tuani Toa back on her feet. They took the wind out of her and they've just sucked the wind out of Tonga in this first half. Hot uh, conditions down there on the park. 24 degrees, you had a few more in the heat of the battle. And as you can see from the referee, as we can see, it's last tackle. So other than that stoppage, that little moment and pausing in play, this is the best set for Tonga. Paya sends it high. A bounce of the ball will be interesting here in the end goal and just batted back. Tiarian Leonga. Uh, he's got him for a, for being offside. Penalty to Samoa. Unfortunate for Tonga. It could have been a great outcome. That would have been a dropout. But because they're in front of the kicker in an offside position, putting pressure on on the catcher. Just an easy way up for Samoa. And Samoa with three and a half minutes left, leading 22-0. See if there's still any desperation to post some more points in this set. And we'll see if Tonga's got a response to that shot from Lofisu. For Samoa, three minutes remain here in the opening half. 22 points to nil the lead. And this is where they're just making some real inroads around the ruck out of dummy half. Keeping Tonga on the back foot. And some of the support lines have been very, very good. They're changing angles. And they push around the ball, passing inside and outside, and doing it with aggression. has yeah. been a real hallmark of their performance this half. Leunga to ground. Braxton Sorensen McGee keeping the defence guessing, gets the ball away. Masoi running the angle back in field. Gets it away again. Tonga needing to muscle up defensively. And the passing's been supreme this side of the field, but goes in behind. Still alive, Lavia. Ball backwards. Says the referee almost intercepted. Here, Maloto. Keeping it alive nicely here. Le Malu Lafau. Off it goes. Timo Tio. Plenty of willing runners coming on. They'll score the try through Sam Maletino. And it can be demoralising. I'm not saying that it was on this occasion, but when you've defended the set and you get right to last tackle and you feel like they're going to kick and you get the ball back and you can have a, a bit of a spell when you get the ball back in your hands, but you come up with an intercept attempt and it knocks on and it goes back to one and you, you've got to defend again. It can be demoralising and... Unfortunately for Tonga, they were caught to arms again to defend the line. And as spirited as they were in the, in the previous set, they just couldn't hold on. And again, it was route one. Just a nice straight carry. Bumping off two defenders, carrying them over the line and putting the ball down for Braxton, Sorensen, McGee to post another two points and extend this lead out. 26-0, two points to come. And see if they can take it out to 28 and what has been a commanding first half for Samoa. Lovely kick again. Braxton Sorensen McGee. They will welcome half time here, Tonga. It's been a dominant display so far from Samoa. Five tries they've scored, 28 points. Jack Fevers 
Blows half time here at Pukakoi. There's Samoa in control. 28 to nil over Tonga. understand that our customer needs their plant and equipment up, running and available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Using only world class product from the likes of Bridgestone and Yokohama, there is no compromise for your valuable machines. Our attention to detail and precision is second to none. It's this customer experience that separates Pertec from the pack. Pertec will keep you operating. Welcome back to Navigation Home Stadium where it is Samoa in complete control against Tonga. Former Kiwi, Willie Paching with me in commentary. Willie, once they got their hands on the ball, started getting into their sets. They found some real purchase down the left edge. They did and it took them a little bit of going and a little bit of time to get going into the game. Both sides came up with errors and their opening opportunities to carry the ball and once Samoa found themselves in field position and they started to power through the de defensive efforts of the Tongans, they soon uh, got the scoreboard ticking over. Braxton Mc Sorensen McGee on this occasion, nice read, simple inside ball to Mua Mua. After they had had an attacking raid and, and had a couple of attacking raids down this right hand side of their attack, finding some joy, especially through Fruin Oteniru. This time it was more and more to score the try and Braxton McGee, Sorensen McGee has been happy just to distribute and, and hold the ball up. But some powerful running, as I said, has been a, a real mark of their game in this first 30 minutes for Samoa. They've been too powerful. And as I said, Riley Fruin or Teneru down this right-hand side with Danny Marfoy been really threatening, been really powerful, really dangerous. And really hard to handle. And that ball, Leonga, great ball, great technique on the money. Just to read the play, assess it as she's catching and get it on the money. <laughs> I said, live and question the put down, but. <laughs> <laughs> it counted, it stuck, and they just really didn't have any time to use the football, did they? Tonga. And uh, this is where I think perhaps. A bit lucky, Samoa, not to lose one of their two co-captains, Braxton Sorensen and McGee. Knew she was in the wrong. Yeah, really fortunate. Really fortunate that the referee uh, let them stay on. But this is the shot. Shot of the day. Well, Fiso. Dorme Lo Fiso. Great shot. On Kaloni Tuinetoa. And I thought she was going to throw some footwork when I saw Lofisal shoot out of the line. I thought the centre from Tonga was going to put some footwork on, but she, died. <laughs> she came off second best, unfortunately. And this was the last try of the half for Samoa again. As I said, Route 1, Sam Maletino was the put down. Their willingness to carry over the advantage line, to bust through the defenders of the Tongan side, especially when they've uh, 
had three and four defenders and tackles. It's been a real uh, positive for Samoa. As I said, Tonga just need to fix up some of their technique, their willingness, and their effort. You can't fault. They're trying to get the numbers into the tackle. They're trying to get the numbers around the threats and to the ball. They're just falling off too often, and they're creating too much ruck speed. Samoa, in, in, in turn, have created too much dominance, and that's why we sit here with a scoreboard of 28 0 going to Samoa. Speaking of numbers, Willie, and particularly coming out of Wakefield in the North, you'll have seen just the challenge that it is always for clubs to try and get youth in, registrations, keep them up. We've seen it in 15s, we see it in rugby league, but when you have a, a tournament like this with young players here showing what is possible and where some of these players will end up, it's got to start attracting the youth in. It's a good thing we've seen the buy-in from the likes of the One New Zealand Warriors and how important these tournaments are to attract those new numbers to the game. 100%, 100%. We've got to try and get people playing the game. Um, I think uh, what the women have done in sport in general with having the World Cup Rugby Union here and having the Football World Cup last year, I think uh, the attraction and how it's attracted girls to play sport in general has been massive, and that's shown in rugby league as well. We've, we've benefited from that, and we've got to try and attract more people and, and show them how great our sport is and how great it is to play the game. And If we can keep as many here and, and, and keep the Warriors and people like New Zealand Rugby League and Auckland Rugby League supporting ventures like this, it's only going to be positive for our game as a whole. Somewhat looking to pick up with a left off. Into the first half. Five tries they've scored as Sorensen and McGee directing the play again and love their little draw up. The player on the outside, form of Chante Louis, just lurking on the left edge is Leunga. Scoots up to the line. Now's Masoy. Had a dummy half, good strong carry. Up into the 10, last tackle here for Samoa. Braxton Sorensen McGee, the little grubber along the ground and well read in the end. Masaleva Faletti for Tonga. And dangerous signs already for Tonga. Samoa were able to go 100 metres in. <laughs> Fortunate for Tonga that, that Braxton Sorensen McGee actually kicked the ball. I thought if she ran it, she could have scored, but they turn it over nonetheless on the try line. Tonga have got to work really hard now to get out. It took him two plays for Samoa to get to the halfway line. Disturbing signs. Well, we talk about the international game in general, Willie. We know obviously you're involved now, Tor Samoa. Good to see you back in, involved, having previously been there. And just talking about the game across the board, out of the north, and, and, and what to expect on the international stage in, in the coming years. Well, the game is, is at a real crossroads in, in the UK and it needs a real injection of money and for the first time this season every game is going to be televised which I think is huge for attracting sponsors as we come back to the game. There she goes via Tonga. Chance to get on the front foot. Inside Samoa's half. Atuila counting it forward again. Off it goes, Valetti. Playing the ball on the 30 here. Tonga, Asasa. Lovely cutout pass. What can they do with it? Hansen. Thought about freeing it as she went to ground. Here though, Himaloto. Right, the kick coming into the sun here at Pukakoi and a good take. Players coming forward. And a better start. You know, it took them the whole half to get to a set where they finish with a kick for Tonga, and they do that on the first set. So they're building. They're building themselves after that poor defensive set to start off. They're building their way in by getting a good set and get to a finish. I'd like to see Tonga when they're attacking, get the ball in the hands of Serenity Tawala. I think she's a real threat and a real danger for the defensive line of Samoa. Trying to free the ball away. Faith to Vita. And she made good ground and they win a penalty as well. So hurtful. 
uh, when you you get so close to the end of the set and you're defending and we had it in the first half when they came up with an intercept attempt and they knocked the ball on this time it's a penalty and they need no invitations here Samoa they don't need any any easy ways in this afternoon by the looks of it Tana Ben Masoy playing it back Johnson McGee has dishes one up and playing on the front foot just outside of the 10 Latino steps off her right foot has players on the outside she'll look to go herself for a second good driving defense off the line for Tonga they're gonna scoot over at a dummy half through Faith Tavita and score the try and some strong running and it was the captain the co-captain Cleo Cleo Leilua carried the ball created the momentum and then it was the play out to the left where it went to Malutino who drew on the winger and the winger stayed at marker and it was a simple read from Faith Tavita unmarked saw the space on the left hand side of the play of the ball there was no defender there and it was just a simple pick up and fall over to open the points Open the scoring for Samoa in the second half. 32 0. Braxton Sorensen McGee has another one. They've not made it easy for her with some of these and some of the scores out wide. But she's gone close on a couple of occasions, and the law of averages says she'll grow up. We'll get one soon. Excellent catch. What a beauty. Braxton Sorensen McGee flags up and 34 to nil. Samoa in complete control of this one. Just a good read. Just uh, indicated that we're going to go right and an easy stroll over. Faith Tavita. Seen that plenty today, running it straight. They've all done that well. Everyone for Samoa has done that well when they've been called upon. And say it again, Braxton, Sorensen, McGee, her direction. Getting her team around the park, getting them to play in the right spots. It's been really important. And they've created the holes and, and the opportunities to keep, keep posting tries. like to see Tonga get an opportunity at some stage. Time's ticking away here. Some more again. Coming from the back fence once more. Timo Teo. Tavita. Strong carry. Miss Malatino. Out a dummy half, just finds a strong runner, keeping the ball alive nicely here. Samoa is starting to find some real holes on the edge in the defence as Tol crashes up 25 metres out from Tonga's line as they look to try and exploit again down the right edge this time. Malutli fault. Braxton Sorensen McGee dishing it up nicely. Lelua very close. Still on here. Surely hands, surely numbers, and yes, they'll score another one. And it's uh, Dorme Lofeso. It's been involved in plenty of the good work. She's she's a recipient of all the hard work that Samoa have done, and I. The thing I like about that set and the build-up to that try, it was a nice mixture of sheer power running through, but there were some nice showings of skill, executing plays, drawing pass down the short side on the right-hand side of the field, coming back, linking a couple of plays together, and then breaking the defensive line, creating those opportunities to get the spaces. And once you do that, you've got to find it, play to the right spots, and that's what they did. And a nice try to Dorme Lufiso. Nice play from Samoa. And a real credit to what the coaching staff have, have put them through. 
We're starting to open things up, as you said. Creating some spaces through their skill, through their ability to draw and pass. And another great kick from Braxton, Sorensen McGee. And we're looking at a 38-0 scoreline. 40-0. Apologies. Got to be careful with this next question, Willie, with uh, Ben Gardner being involved with Samoa. But uh, no, well, Penrith have played in the NRL. Is this the Warriors' year, finally? Yeah. I like I'll the long close. pause. I like the long I, pause. Well, I got to. Th I thought they had so many players last year have season best. Sean Johnson being one of them. You know, I thought he matured to the point where his game changed and you know, it's became a real leader as far as getting the team around. It wasn't just about him. And, and on the back of that, he created opportunities for himself. I think uh, Luke Capel's a massive acquisition. I think he's a, a huge buy for them. Um, there's another motivation with Adam Fanua Blake leaving. I, I think he'll, he'll be wanting to go out on a high. Um, but there's a there's a wave of support for them at the moment throughout the country, and, and I'm one of them. I really hope they do well. It's been a it's been too long. It's been too long, for, you know, to get that maiden trophy and, and maiden NRL grand final win, but. Yeah, hopefully it's, it's this year. They got so close last year. It was, a, as I said, a fantastic year, but they were pipped by two fantastic teams. Penrith are outstanding. And they've got their reasons to be good again. Um, Broncos were so young, and you know, they'll they'll be better for, for last year. If they can keep the, the important players fitting on the field, and, and I think uh, manage to Harris's time, there's no reason why the Warriors can't be the year. I'll buy that. Thanks you, Willie. Certainly uh, an injection of confidence ahead of the season. Looking forward to it on Sky Sport. It's the moment. It's the Pacifica Youth Cup in Samoa. Repelling Tonga. Big tackle coming in that time. Elena Lavia for Samoa as Tonga try and crack them. But just as impressive as their offense has been, some of the sting in the defense telling for Samoa at the moment. Real feeling in this one to try and break their way through the line. Lokotui. Shimina Lokotui. Here's an opportunity trying to get the ball over the top. Really Kofusi. Right there. Trying to scoot out a dummy half. Ball is still alive. Ekofuli. It's the last tackle. So what have they got up their sleeve here? There it is for Sasa, the fullback, ball along the ground. And they'll keep Samoa in goal here. Plenty of players rushing in. And that's a, a good way to end the set for Tonga. That's a real positive, positive passage of play, positive finish, positive outcome for Tonga. They can really grow off this. There's some, some real smart plays. Opportunities on the line to almost go and score and think better of it rather than throwing the ball out build the set get some pressure on Samoa and may create themselves an opportunity to score here goal line drop out it's fielded by Kala Fafita the Tonga they take care of her they keep an eye on lifting the player over the horizontal again Tonga through the back row Mwangalu Options both ways. They go the way of Eli Kofusi. This is better from Tonga. They're starting to get a bit of a rhythm in their sets now. Looking for the pass here down the left edge. The ball pops out, spits out the side in contact. And uh, Jack Fevers will say play on. Finally, can they crack them? Elia Finau just out from the line for Tonga. Trying to free it. This is the last for them. And just dying with the ball. Alavaya. 
14 years of age. Unlucky, but you can see on this picture here right now, because they've had two good attacking sets back to back, there's some fatigue setting in already in the Samoan defence. You've got some people with hands on hips. Not too many people putting their hand up to carry. This is what Tonga need to do for the next 10 minutes or so. They can just keep putting the pressure on through their attack. Because they've got to commence some more defensively. They've got no preservation for their bodies. They're just throwing themselves into their defence. Fonga. Latino just dropping it off again to a runner one off. They're doing this well here this afternoon. Uh, Samoa. Latino once more. Ball spits backwards in the play. Uh, just straight in. And once more through Malena Lavia. Plays it on the halfway line for Samoa. Next inside to McGee, just waiting there on the shoulder. Real fight in the tackle here. Martino gets it away. Just making some easy meters here, huge meters. Stormay Lofeso, one of the try scorers, takes them up just outside of the 20 for Samoa. Uh, Louis, dangerous on her feet, good fend. With the left hand spinning in the tackle. Lovely presentation of the ball. Opportunity to offload won't do it. There's Braxton Sorensen McGee. Wants runners. And she gets one too. And they'll get another try here. Samoa. And it is the co captain, Cleo Le Lua, who scores it. And she's been enormous. A great reward. She's carried strong. She's tackled hard. And their power game to carry her team on her shoulders has been immense this afternoon. And that's great reward. Just picks out a one-on-one. -on -one, goes route one. Gets down. The referee has done a great job this afternoon. Jack Fevers. Just close enough to adjudicate and give the try. And some will keep extending their scoreline. And sh some... Sh some really good character from Samoa. I spoke about how they were fatigued on the back of doing back-to-back -back defensive sets and keeping the opposition out. But their response to carry the ball the way they did was impressive. You know, to do that under the fatigue and when you've been pressured really says a lot about their side and their resolve and uh, their response to a bit of adversity, I suppose. They're committing a, a dropout and then having to defend again and then respond by going down the other end. It's, it says a lot about their physical strength, but their mental strength more so. And just unfortunate for Tonga on the back of their best passage of the game. That they aren't able to convert and score a try, but they concede one as well as they roll some subs on. 46 to nil, just uh, under 13 remain. Of course, Auckland Rugby League, really big part of this tournament. And uh, they do such a fantastic job around Tamaki Makoto. And great to hear you back uh, with your old club, helping out as well, Maris Saints. Enjoying that? Loving it, loving it. And uh, you know, I came back a bit way through last season and uh, helping out Simon Yeremia, um, head coach of the side. And I'm just passing on some tidbits here and there and helping where I can. But, yeah, it's been a tough time for the club with, with the clubhouse burning down and we're just trying to re-establish some sort of base and, and look forward to a, a good season this year with the Prems. Samoa again on the charge. It's been a long afternoon defending for this Tongan side. And uh, as it wears on, starting to find more and more metres uh, Samoa through Danny Mafoy. Little short side play this time and opening them up again beautifully Samoa there's Taylor Bene Masui scoots away in the corner beg your pardon Solo Afonga it is and great if we, try if we have a look at the two plays in the lead up to this this is the game in a nutshell this is the game in three plays now the Play the ball, 
two defenders left on the ground, not been able to set to get to marker. They play again. Repeat happens. Two defenders can't get set at marker. And then they just pick holes. Nice, smart play down the right-hand side. Getting that feel that you've got all the running on that edge and they're not recovering to a point where it's almost savagery and you're just picking on them. And you know that the opposition can't recover. They can't get back. And just says a lot about their ruthlessness, Samoa. So keep going at them. And there's some, well, some talking about savagery and emotions and being smart at picking on There's also some smartness about it. You know, you've got to be aware and get that feel and, and play it as it comes. And, and they've done a pretty good job of that this afternoon. And that right-hand side of uh, Danny Marfoy and Braxton Torrance and McGee down there have been very, very good. And, and Riley Fru and Utenero picked holes on them. They've just been physically too strong for Tonga and the 10 minutes left and just try and work themselves into damage limitations here. Capitalising on some tired legs for sure. It's brave effort. This from uh, Tonga, but they've run into a determined and polished Samoan outfit this afternoon. Silo Afonga, the latest try, and a very good kick too from wide to convert. Braxton Sorensen McGee. And just that, just that tackle there. They got four in the tackle, and they're just too keen to jump up and get ready to go. And just soak up some time, stay on them here. Don't be too keen. Don't be too eager. That's the one. You get yourselves a chance to get a line, a defensive line to attack them in defence. Almore, just happy to play this way. It's worked a treat for them this afternoon. Doing the basics well. Some more. There's still plenty of feeling. And some of the contact here. Plenty of players putting their hand up for the carry. Tied legs on the side of Samoa too. As they go up beyond the 30. Braxton Sorensen McGee wants her hands on it. The halfback has got it. Up comes the kick. And to the sun and it's put down. Get a chance to go again here at Samoa. With a fresh set, make the most of it too. Ali Fruin Otineru. Good, strong carry forward. Almost off his saw. Again, looking for a second. Jack Fever's points will come back. And nice work from Meli Hemilotu to get under the ball, to stop, to get the ball in between her body and the grass and stop what could have been a try. Just smart defending. One more. We're shaping right. They come away left and they're going to power through this time. Can she get the ball down? Gone forward. And great urgency from Tonga. Great urgency to get numbers around the ball. Monica Ben from Samoa trying to offload. Once she knew she wasn't going to be able to get the ball down. But the ball's gone forward. And a reward for their desperation. Raced up in the 20. Monica Ben also close. Standing in the tackle. Akutui getting it away. Just love to crack the line here. Once Wood Tonga, they deserve a try. And passages that played some good rugby league. Lama. Up to halfway is Tuala. Carries it forward once more. Needs someone to play the ball and just pounced on by Samoa's hooker. Not urgent enough or quick enough to get to dummy half, Tonga. Unfortunate, and it was that girl, Serenity Tawala, the one who I think was going to set up a play for him. Oh, Titi, Ivana Lo Titi, 
plays the ball back. And here it is for Moore Moore. She's on station this time. He'll fall. Yeah, Sorensen, McGee shifts it away to Tavita. Another little short ball. Plenty of players waiting away to the right here. Sorensen, McGee again, just slightly holds the pass, gets it away to Levere. Standoff trying to put the foot down and drive her way through. Be hard to stop here. Samoa again, the wide pass. Sorensen, McGee. Fonga will look for a second. But the ball has turned over. Can't make. And there's been some moments in this tournament when teams have spotted those overlaps. And Samoa did it earlier in the game with Leonga, and she was spot on. And you've got to be on the money with those cutout passes. And if you're not, you're better off just going through the hands. And she's probably better off going to Danny Marfoy. Ma and, and just going through the hands and drawing, drawing past to the defenders and hold that space for the winger to walk in. Don't have to go cut out pass every single time. Looks good. Driving the player back. There's Lower Titi again. It's Tong have had to do this all afternoon, try and create something from uh, the backfield. Wrestling with them is Azaleva Faletti. Maloto plays it away. Paya, little kick along the ground. Chasing through oh. two, almost got the bounce. But it's an opportunity on the counter-attack for someone. Strong on her feet, Louis. Shuffling your Louis, but excellent defense from Tonga to shut it down just as it was flourishing again for Samoa. Moa Moa. They go herself. Look for another try. Driven back. Desperate defense. Tonga not wanting to leak another one. Loa Titi tried to free the offload. One more. Looks away. Thought about the switch play. They come away to the right. Sorensen right, McGee gets them all off beautifully. She was right on her shoulder. And Riley Fruin Otiniru has a second try for Samoa this afternoon. And with four minutes to go and the scoreline at 56-0, Tonga had to come up with something. They tried something from their own end, tried to come up with a grubber kick, and it almost bounced their way, such has been the case this afternoon. It bounced away from them. Samoa ended up with the ball in their hands. A couple of opportunities to go route one. But Tonga, to their credit, thrown threes and fours into the tackle as they have, have done all afternoon. But smart football from... Braxton, Sorensen, McGee, just to go out to the right-hand side. Simple overlaps, holes everywhere. She picks the right pass. And a nice, simple walk-in for Samoa. Now, I've got to say, Samoa, even though the scoreline is a blowout at the moment, defensively, they're still throwing themselves into their work. No, they're not content just to roll out and wait for the last whistle. But they're still hungry. They're still showing some ruthlessness and some desperation which is a, a real positive sign as a coach that your team is still hungry in these moments. Wanting to keep a clean sheet. Done plenty on the other side of it. Brings up another one. She had a few crackers today from out wide as Braxton, Sorensen, McGee off of the tee. As you say, really the urgency, the effort hasn't waned from Samoa in the heat of the afternoon here in Pukekoi. It's still been plenty of energy and urgency. Get up off their line, defend. Just haven't given Tonga a chance to get in the game. No. And that's desire. That's want. And that's, as I said, a bit of ruthlessness. Being desperate. We've got plenty of that. Yeah, Tonga still have a chance here ball going into touch off the kickoff they'll get a chance to attack from 20 metres out with a full set with a minute and a half left a few times across the last couple of days just 
Failing to take it off of the kickoff, Samoa. So, Tonga will pack down, and you'd like to see them get over for one. They deserve it. They deserve it for their efforts. They've uh, been short in some areas, but effort and willingness isn't one of them. Just not getting it right. And the chance goes begging for Tonga. Samoa just with a little shove in the scrum is enough to put some air and put some doubt in the back of the scrum of Tonga. And they come up with a knock on. And that's their opportunity gone with a couple of seconds left. Done yet. Lovely intricate move. Excellent stuff here. Braxton Sorensen McGee. A little master just opening up Tonga. What a try this would be, Masoi. As uh, the hooter goes, playing right till the end. Players embrace. The scoreline favours Samoa big time, but there was plenty of heart, feeling, and passion in that. And in the end, an impressive display. Both sides of the ball for Samoa. They win it here over Tonga by 58 points to nil.